Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a good news reading. What good things are coming your way? If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you, boo. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? Guys, we are going to go ahead and get right into this. So we pulled the chakra card. I feel like some of the good news that could be coming your way, Gemini, is that you're going to start to feel more balanced. I feel like you've been feeling off balance, maybe because they're showing me a pendulum. So maybe you've been swinging. Like, do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? Maybe your emotions have been very up and down. Um, they're playing the circus theme. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I don't know if you've been feeling like a clown or your energy has just been like all over the place where you feel like you're in a circus or something. I don't know, but I'm getting that energy, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to start to feel more balanced. I feel like you're going to start to feel more secure within yourself. You're going to start being able to regulate your emotions better. There could have been this energy of not being able to regulate your emotions and kind of spiraling here, um, maybe going through bouts of depression or massive anxiety, massive panic attacks, okay? Just feeling really off balance here is what I'm getting. And so one of the good things that are coming in here, the good news is that you are about to balance out. You're also coming into alignment for something when this card comes out, okay? This could be an alignment for a blessing, for a treasure to appear in your life because as within, so without. So when we're all chaotic and in lack mentality within our bodies, and within our minds, it is going to reflect into our environment, okay? So there could be something here where maybe you've been seeing chaos all around you because you've been feeling very chaotic inside. You are about to start feeling more solid, okay, is the energy I'm getting. Like, solid like a rock. I don't know what song that is, but that's what they're singing, okay? Solid is the energy I'm getting. And since you're going to feel solid, your your environment is going to reflect that back to you, okay? Let's go ahead and get a yes or no for you, Gemini gang, okay? You know the deal. I don't think of anything. This is for you guys, so go ahead and ask a question, and we will get the answer. What is the answer to Gemini's question, please, Spirit? What is the answer to Gemini's question? Okay. We will go ahead and pull one out. We have reconsider, okay? So that's not a yes, that's not a no, that's a maybe. Look, you're going in the right direction with the pendulum swinging, okay? So maybe there's something where you were like, I'm pulling the plug on something, Spirit's asking you to reconsider. Maybe you've been reconsidering, reevaluating what your priorities are, you know? Um, I'm kind of getting that energy. I know everybody thought of a different question, guys, so you really have to take this part with a grain of salt for sure. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is this energy where you're reconsidering your plans, you're reevaluating things. What what is important to me? What do I desire deep down inside? You know, I want to be happy, right? I'm I'm tired of holding myself back from happiness, or I'm tired of holding myself back from the things that I desire. Um, so spirit wants you to know you're going in the right direction by reconsidering, reevaluating, coming up with a new plan or something like that. Okay. Um, so I'm getting that energy. Now with this rainbow effect here, rainbows could be very significant for you guys, okay? You could be rainbow gang or something, or a rainbow baby could be significant. Um, I'm pretty sure that's when you have a baby after you've lost a baby, so that could be significant for somebody. I also feel like there's something here where if you're an artist, you're using more color. You're feeling more colorful, okay? There could be something about abstract art or something like that, because I'm getting somebody like doing a spin and being like, hi-ya, right, and flinging paint at a canvas so there could be something here with that somebody could also be getting into clay or sculptures pottery something where you use your hands i'm getting that very significantly somebody could be learning to make clay bowls from like the dirt outside right making your own clay like all natural clay or something here there's something there's something going on with that guys okay please do take it as it resonates oh i wanted to get a power animal lest we forget, right? So a power animal, Gemini, is an animal where you can pull on its traits and its attribute, attributes. <laughs> 
to help you out in whatever situation you be going through. Boo, okay, so let's see. What's the power animal for Gemini with this good news reading, okay? What is the power animal for Gemini? We have the dolphin. Wow, with all that color, okay? And the dolphin for me talks about happiness. It talks about the inner child. It talks about youthfulness and just a spring of youthfulness, right? A spring of happiness here. Um, you could be definitely wanting to play, Gemini. You could be wanting a companion to play with for some of you guys. Um, the dolphins are pack animals. They're, I don't know if they're, it's a hub, it's a dolphin hub, it's a dolphin herd. I don't know what it is, okay? But, or if it's a pod, it's a pod of dolphins. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Dolphins are very social creatures, right? So there's something here where maybe you're feeling more sociable or maybe there's this energy of like, I want to go out and play. I want to go out and have a good time. I want to go out and enjoy my life, right? Because I feel like there's been this energy where you haven't really been in that energy of enjoying life, of looking at the brighter side of life, okay? So some of you guys could be getting back to your old, like, goofy, jokey, laughy self, okay? You know, riding with the windows down, listening to music, just chilling, um, going out with friends or connecting with new people, maybe meeting new people, um, you know, being adventurous, uh, exploring your area, seeing what's around you, just connecting, you know, it's, it's really giving that kind of energy here. I do not know what the dolphin actually says in the book though, so this is gonna be interesting. We don't, I don't think we've ever gotten the dolphin card, so let's see what it says. All right, so it says, innately intelligent healer, light, and blessings, okay? The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact that they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the will of karma that coming into contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way, okay? Interesting, because I did say that you were in alignment for a treasure or a blessing. I said that, okay? When in balance, active healer, strong spiritual practice, when out of balance, underestimates one's own power. I don't know why I keep wanting to talk like that. To bring into balance like-minded spirits, okay? So, as a power animal, Gemini, okay, you are a healer. And everybody that you come into contact with, you change the course of their day, thus their life. Gemini, you could feel like you've come into contact with somebody like that. Like, I will never be the same after meeting you, and I don't know why. Some of you guys could be giving that effect to somebody. Somebody around you feels like they are never going to be the same. You have changed something about them. You make an impact in the world, okay? You may not feel like you play such a large role, but that could possibly be when you're out of balance. You might feel like you're a little insignificant. You know, I could come and go and nobody would even notice. Nobody would care, but that's not the case here, okay? So you are meant to be an active healer and you are meant to have some kind of strong spiritual practice, whether that's meditation, whether that's manifestation, whether that's doing psychic things, okay, or divination, something like that, connecting. Some of you guys, I'm even getting a, um, a sound bowl, okay? So a singing bowl. So some of you guys could use a singing bowl or something or there's some something like that. I don't know. I'm getting that kind of energy here where you're just meant to have a strong spiritual connection and a strong spiritual practice. OK, and so this card is basically telling you to lean into your light gifts, lean into your light energy to accept the healing that's coming down from the divine to accept the healing that you have within you. And to know that also being a healer doesn't mean that you're getting away scot free, right? That you're just completely living a blissful life where nothing ever touches you. Being a healer can actually be quite hard, okay? And you will go through a lot of dark times. You will feel broken often, uh, more often than not, at least in my personal opinion. That's just how it's been for me, right? Like I've, oh, I've just went through a lot, you know? <laughs> and so, but I feel like uh, everything that I've went through, I've went through this so I can then turn around and help other people get through it because we're all going through stuff. Nobody here on this earth is just living a blissful life where they're not suffering through through anything, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, physical, everybody is going through something, okay? And so be a light in the world, Gemini, because that's what you're meant to do. Um, also, know there's a blessing that's here. There's a blessing that is on the way, something that is going to impact your life and change it 
for the better, but profoundly change your life, okay? There's some kind of blessing here, um, and you're being asked to embrace this blessing, whatever it is. Now, to bring your energy into balance, find like-minded people. Find like-minded spirits, people who are like you, Gemini, people who think like you, act like you, believe the way that you do, okay? Um, because you are, again, a social creature, or there's something here about connection that's very valuable, connection that's very significant to you, okay? Uh, okay. Damn it now. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. What good things are on the way for Gemini, please? What good things, okay? I want to hear about, oh, we have a contract. I want to hear about the blessings too, because I do feel like there is a significant blessing coming. Now, this could come in the way of a house. I'm getting that for somebody, a contract, uh, maybe moving, signing the deed on something. This could be a car. It could be a house. It could be a business. It could be a new business opportunity. Somebody could definitely want you to work for them. Somebody could want to invest in you. I do feel like there's something here where somebody wants somebody to work for them or something like that. And I'm also getting the house energy very strongly, okay? So there could be something like that. I just saw the cash card, but on the bottom we have a gift. So somebody could be giving you a really big gift. I'm also getting for somebody, somebody asking them to like marry them. That's obviously not for everybody, but if you're in a connection where that's something that's realistic for you, yeah, somebody could be wanting to, you know, lock it down okay i just feel like there's going to be a commitment to something here um and it's going to bring a lot of gifts and abundance into your life some of you guys could be coming into the beginning of a spiritual contract all right um maybe you had a contract with a certain person or a certain place or a certain destiny or maybe a path right like i'm signing this contract with spirit i will fulfill this you know um you're coming into the beginning of that for somebody okay i'm getting that very strongly here i do feel like spirit is watching you right now i feel like there's a lot of protection I feel like the spirit is watching you to see what your moves are, how you're handling a situation or how you're going to handle a situation. There's also a need to maybe pull back if this is a huge blessing, like say somebody's giving you a house or say that, you know, you're getting the opportunity for a new career and you have to relocate or move or there's something like that, okay? Or maybe you want to go get a new car and you see one that you really like and they're like, well, here's the contract, go ahead and sign it, right? There's a need to kind of pull back with the hawk energy and take yourself out of this emotionally and see something from a higher perspective so you can see all angles because sometimes when we're right up in it we can't see it clearly and with the dolphin energy I'm getting like a big enthusiastic type of vibe where you're just like ready okay but there's definitely some kind of harvest here that's coming and I feel like you're going to have a lot of choices or a lot of options with this harvest there could be a lot of different um, facets to this harvest because we have the apples that are in the basket, we have the apples on the ground, then we have the apples hanging from the tree, and then we have what we can't see, which is the apples further up in the tree. So there's a whole bunch of harvest here. Some of you guys might be um, going apple picking. I don't know if it's apple season, but you might be going apple picking or planting trees, planting apple trees or something like that, okay? But yeah, there's a harvest that's coming through here and it's something that's very significant where you either will have to sign a physical contract or draw up some kind of legal papers here. Uh, this could be a collab or a sponsorship or something for somebody if that resonates, okay? Or this is something that it's a spiritual contract that you've already agreed upon. We will get more details, okay? But what other good things, okay? What other good things are coming Gemini's way? We have the roses blooming. That song, A Wonderful World, could definitely be significant, okay? Skies are blue, red roses too. And something about they bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I don't know why I'm getting that song, though. Uh, Gemini, there could just be a romance that's blooming in your life, okay, for sure. This could definitely come after a time where you were attached to a really karmic energy that did everything it could to kind of like break down your spirits, break down <laughs> break down who you are as a person, make you believe that you ain't shit, you ain't worth shit, all that stuff. There could be something blooming after that, okay? It does feel like a light after the storm is kind of what I'm getting with this rose energy here. I also feel like there could be some kind of level up that's happening in your life where 
Um, you're just, you know, you're moving to a whole new level. You're gaining some kind of recognition. Your attractiveness could be changing or, or morphing or something. Because I just feel like there's something here where it's like while you were out of balance, everything was starting to shift. Everything was starting to change, okay? Um, perhaps like you were seeing things in a very harsh black and white way, okay? And because you're starting to soften your approach, you're starting to soften within yourself, it's like you're able to see things in a whole scope, right and there's something here about you getting more relaxation you being able to chill you feeling better really focusing on self-care really focusing on healing some of y'all could be taking more baths lighting candles giving, giving yourself a whole fucking moment is the energy i'm getting or doing whatever activities are relaxing to you you know maybe you like to go hiking maybe you like to go camping maybe you like to roast a little marshmallows and weenies over a fire or something like that maybe that's relaxing to you whatever's relaxing to you it's like you're spending time doing things that feel good to you gemini whereas before you might have been in this energy of like the, almost depriving yourself i also feel like of course there's going to be you know bird bitches from a distance that are going to be upset over whatever contract or whatever's blossoming or blooming in your life if this is like a new romance or something yes people are going to be jealous but you know whatever right but i'm getting that kind of energy here what else do we have for good things <clears throat> good things that are coming towards gemini wow guys come on now we have the chakra card coming out yeah you're getting an alignment some of y'all are getting an alignment with your ancestors some of you guys could be um visiting a place or traveling to a place or moving for some of you guys to a place where your ancestors were okay you might not know about this because you might be like mm -mm, my ancestors were all from let's say brazil or something like that and then you go and you visit some other place and it's like no you had ancestors there or maybe this was like a spiritual ancestry like people from a past life or something I don't know I'm getting that energy for somebody but I do feel like you are listening to the voice within here and I feel like you're being guided by your spirit team very heavily so something is coming into alignment when you're coming into alignment with your ancestors you're getting some kind of ancestor blessing as well okay some of you have been able to cleanse a cycle recently and it was really rough okay um this was a cycle that you were going on and around and around and it feels like it was in your mind so it's almost like this energy of like beating yourself up or um hating yourself or keeping yourself in that lack mentality or something here there's some kind of cycle that you've broken that your ancestors used to do okay but yeah you are coming into balance there could be something here about an offering as well like giving an offering if you guys do have an altar for your ancestors gemini you might want to put something um on your altar for your ancestors if you don't do anything like that you might want to offer something to like the woodland creatures or something okay like go give like some bread to some squirrels or something or i don't know nuts whatever they're allowed to have research what they're allowed to eat don't just be going out there handing them whatever okay um or there could be something like i saw a reel the other day of this woman who was going around the store and she was putting folded up 20 dollar bills in like the diaper boxes so like when you went and you got diapers and you open up the box there'd be a 20 there which is super sweet and nice and it's just a random act of kindness it's just a random offering an energetic offering of goodwill and good peace right that's kind of the energy that i'm getting here but if you do have an altar where you do honor your ancestors there could be something here about putting an offering on your altar okay now you could do some kind of like sacrifice and I know it sounds crazy, right? But when I do a sacrifice, it's not like what people think, right? So let's just say, for example, I cut open a watermelon. Um, if I want to put a piece on the altar, I put like the best piece on the altar, okay? Um, if I want to put some water on the altar, a cup of water, I don't put water out of the tap. I put bottled water on the altar, okay? Um, if I put like a cup of coffee or something on the altar, like I'll put cream and sugar in that coffee. Like I'll make that coffee good. Like it was for me. It's a sacrifice basically of something that you really want or something that you treasure and you're offering it to your ancestors. Okay. That's not for everybody. That's just for those who are already into that kind of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> But there's something about that for sure. So I feel like you're coming into balance. I feel like whatever contract this is that's going to be offered to you, whatever commitment this is, or whatever spiritual contract you're on the precipice of, Gemini, I feel like this is really going to impact you in a positive way. And it's going to help you open up. 
you're just gonna stop to smell the roses here. I hate to say it, but it's just, it's there, right? I feel like you're gonna stop to smell the roses. There could be some kind of affection or love that's gonna be offered to you, Gemini, or you could feel like offering affection and love to somebody, um, or just to the world, right? You're gonna maybe frolic, you could go out there and just, you know, frolic in a field of flowers and just be feeling yourself, okay? There's something about that, Gemini. I also feel like there's something where you're just very attractive. Like a lot of people are drawn into your energy right now. And that's because you have that good energy with the dolphin and the chakra card out here twice. Yes, okay? You are high vibing right now. And when you're vibrating really high, you're like a lighthouse, right? A very strong light that's just being cast out into the darkness. Okay, just shining. That's what they're showing me, a light just shining. And, you know, ships that are out there that are a little lost, they're a little weary, they're a little tired, they're going to see that light. Okay, whether they see it physically or whether they feel it energetically, they're going to see that light and they're going to want to come towards you. Okay, so I do feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of people. Now, if you're some kind of healer here, okay, you could be... Um, you could definitely be signing some kind of contract with in regards to that, like uh, get an official job, um, maybe doing whatever you do, okay? So if you do Reiki, okay, right? If you do remote healing, something remote work or something like that, um, for some of you guys, maybe you do mentoring or coaching or psychic work, something like that. Maybe you go and cleanse houses, you bless houses, you bless people, maybe you bless babies, bless animals, I don't know. There's something here where you're gonna get some kind of official work doing that, where you're gonna sign a contract okay but you're gonna feel really good about this that's just what I'm getting guys okay yeah something had to happen in divine timing here and it's just time so some of you guys might have like really good things like really good blessings that come your way and you might be like spirit why would you send this to me now like I am not on top of my game. I'm not at the best place in my life. I'm not where I want to be. But see, the thing is, is that us as humans, we try to control every single aspect of everything in our lives, right? We want to have all of our ducks in a row. We want to have everything in order. We want to have everything looking and feeling and being a certain way before we accept blessings. What Spirit is saying here is that the time is now. You're being offered these blessings because you're ready for them. Whether or not you feel that you're at the right place is, is not the point here. The point is, is that this is all happening in divine timing. So if you're meeting new people, you're meeting them now for a reason. If you're traveling to new places, you're traveling these places for a reason. If you're getting these contracts, you're getting these contracts for a reason. If these offerings are opening up to you, they're opening up to you for a reason. You know, the blessings are coming in. Don't deny them because you feel like you're not ready. It's kind of like, it's a, it's, I don't know. I don't think the spirit really gives a shit either way, to be honest with you. At least the spirit that I know is kind of like, this is your deal. You do what you want, but I could give you some advice on how you could do that. That's kind of how spirit is with me. But I feel like it's almost like, it's kind of disrespectful in a way to spirit to say you trust, right? I trust you, spirit. I trust in the divine plan. I trust where you're taking me. And then when you get given blessings, you're like, whoa, Okay, now is not the time. It's almost like, do you really trust me then? I mean, it's something like that, okay? Because I feel like you guys are very strategic and you're very practical and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but you could definitely miss out on some good things. You could miss out on some good blessings being too practical about when they show up or putting blessings on the back burner, right? Being like, okay, well, I, I thank you for offering this to me, spirit, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on the back burner continue to spiral and spin and focus on myself and I'll come back to that when I'm ready for it but then when you come back to it it's not there no more you know because some of these blessings do have a time limit damn sure if it's involving a person because if it's a person that's free will that person has their own life they have their own path their own things going on and spirit might not want to make them wait for you you know I brought this person into your life at this time for a reason if you don't feel like you're ready well then okay you know, but don't think you could just put this person on the back burner and come back for them. That's not how life works. That's not how relationships work, okay? Same with these blessings that maybe there's a contract that you need to sign or something like that. Like, don't think just because you're not ready now, it's always going to be there. That's not the case, okay? So there's something about how time waits for nobody, right? Things wait for nobody. The time is now. So some of you guys, yeah, there's been some kind of energy where maybe you've been feeling locked up or you've been feeling disconnected. You've been feeling kept back or there's been a clock here. I always say with this card, 
the bluebird inside, they don't realize that there's a clock on the bottom. You know, they're just, you know, pacing back and forth in the cage. Like, I just want to get out of here. I'm never going to get out of here. You know, minutes feel like hours, hours feels like days, days feels like months, months feels like years. It's like an endless time that I'm going to be in here. But really there's a clock on here the whole time. And I like to think that the clock is going to strike a certain number and the door is going to open up for the bird, right? So there's kind of this energy here where you've been in this cage for a while and you felt like it was endless but there is a clock, it's in divine timing. But when the clock strikes and the door opens up, there could be this apprehensiveness of like, well, now I'm not sure if I actually wanna leave my cage because even though I'm not comfortable here, there is a, a sort of comfort, right? There's like a reliability of this cage. Even though I don't like it, I don't wanna be here, right? So it's really about stepping outside of your comfort zone with whatever this is that you're being given. Some of you guys are definitely going to be offered something where you're gonna be celebrated, recognized. There could be like a cheersing going on or making a deal here for sure. This could also be coming into connection with somebody who is going to be important in your life. Maybe you're gonna work with this person or um, this is just going to be a really good friend or something. I don't know. I'm getting that kind of energy with this. Okay. For sure. Sagittarius energy. Yeah. There's something that's speeding up in your life. So if you've been feeling that energy of being stuck in the cage, Gemini, you won't feel stuck for much longer. Yeah. Spirit keeps hinting at a connection here. So this could be a friendship. This could be a teacher mentor type of energy. This could be a really nice working arrangement. This could also be a romance, shit. You guys know I don't really read that kind of stuff, but hey, why not, okay? It could be a romance for some of you guys. Um, this is gonna be one where it's like, if this is a romance, you guys have definitely known each other before and you're gonna feel that right away. Like you're gonna feel that familiarity with each other um, where we're getting to know each other, but it doesn't feel like for the first time. Um, we're just getting to know the basics of who we are this lifetime, right? Because my soul knows your soul, okay? We've definitely done this whole thing before, whether we were brothers and sisters or whether we were, you know, mother and father or whether we were cousins or whether we were work, you know, buddies or whether we were in a romantic connection, whatever we were, our souls know each other. We're just getting to know the basics of who you are this lifetime, right? So there's something here with that because this always gives me like a nostalgic type of energy here. And this is going to be somebody too with the dolphin energy that is going to, you're going to have fun with this person. And I feel like they're going to make you feel energized. Like this is the type of energy where it's like, what are we doing today? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know if that's your energy, if that's their energy, but somebody is very bouncy in this connection. Like somebody is like -da 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 -da, right? <laughs> bouncing all off the walls and stuff. I don't know. That's where somebody like, they always want to go do something. Like, let's go to the museum. Let's go walk around. Let's go on a hike. Let's, you know, go for a walk. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's rearrange the house. Like, I don't know, there's something like, let's move the couch from this side to that side and feng shui it. There's something where it's like, somebody has a lot of energy and because of that, it gives the other person a lot of energy. That's just what I'm getting for somebody, okay? There could also be like random dancing. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. There could be random dancing or maybe you guys like to go dancing or maybe you guys like to go out and have a drink. That's not for everybody, obviously. I know some people don't drink, but it would be like your equivalent of that if you don't drink, okay? You guys could also be foodies too. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but enjoying nice food, you know, cooking nice food, going out and experiencing like good food. I'm not talking about like crappy fast food. I'm talking about like, you know, like good homemade local ingredients, you know, trying out different places. There's something about that, okay? That's not for everybody. I also feel like this connection could make you wanna be healthier. You know, because when I think of the chakra card, I do think about health and there's something about that like this. I'm hearing, let's get physical, <laughs> physical. I don't know what song that is, but that's what they're singing. I feel like there could be something here where this connection makes you want to get in shape or it makes you want to be the best version of yourself. Like, I don't know. That's for somebody. I'm not trying to turn this into a love reading, but that is what I'm kind of getting here. What is this? Um this contract here for the good things the good news that's coming gemini's way what is this contract talking about ace of swords really wanted to pop but it didn't okay we have the three of swords and then we have the two of swords so this could be the ending 
of a contract that's been really heavy for some of you guys. This could be like you're going off on a new chapter here for sure, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys, maybe that's what that cage was talking about too, where you felt like you were trapped and then, you know, almost imprisoned in something that you weren't able to get out of. For some of you guys, the good news is that somebody's going to sign those divorce papers. I don't know who that's for, okay? But that's for somebody, right? Um, and this is going to free you up to go expand, rebalance yourself, and eventually meet connections. Even if it's not romantic, you're going to meet friends. Some of you guys might have been in a marriage where you weren't even really allowed to have friends. Like, you know, like this person was hella possessive or toxic or something like that. So there's this energy here of there's a contract that was very toxic that was ending, okay? I also feel like some of you guys could be coming into a new contract right on the tail end of this pain, stress, sorrow, misery, something like that, okay? There's been a lot of indecision here moving forward for sure. Yeah, King of Pentacles, that's my husband card. So there's definitely this energy of somebody who could be leaving a marriage or leaving a business. Or just if, if even if y'all weren't married, it's like a very long standing connection. Like we've been together for six, seven, eight years, which hey, whatever. It's, it don't matter, Jessica. Shut up. All right. So let's go ahead and keep it moving like Susan. What is this talking about? Yeah, I feel like you're leaving a contract. So this could be energetically. Like maybe there was like a spiritual contract you have where you had to spend a certain amount of time in this dark night of the soul. It was necessary for your growth, for your healing, for your soul's improvement and involvement. Um, is what I'm getting. Okay. And so now you're coming out of that and you're almost going into this new cycle of investing in yourself. Okay. For sure. Some of you guys, if you are leaving something really painful behind, you are going to rebuild yourself. You're going to grow. You're going to grow within your sense of well-being, within your health, within your stability, okay? So there's something about that, guys. That's the good news here is that, yeah, you are going to be able to leave something really painful behind, but just know that this was necessary for your growth in whatever way, guys, okay? And that you are moving forward and in turn investing in yourself for sure, okay? Yeah, we have the Empress. So some of you guys are going to turn yourself into the empress, male or female, right? Pregnant with spirits, baby, out there with a purpose, doing your damn thing, okay? For sure. You had to go through a lot of pain. Anybody who's been pregnant before, like actually pregnant, is difficult. And that's why I like to use that analogy of spirits, baby, because being pregnant is not easy, Sure, there's some people that get to have a pregnancy where the whole thing start to finish was just easy breezy and they loved it, right? Um, but for the majority of us, it was not fun, you know, at all. So there's, there's that here where it's like it's a great sacrifice to bring this purpose into the world, to complete whatever this is in the name of spirit, to walk on your path to be in that chosen energy where you have to sacrifice, you have to walk a straight line sometimes, you have to change, you have to grow, you have to heal. It's not always easy, right? And so there's something here where you are evolving into that. Now, for my masculine energies, there could be something here where you're investing in yourself, you're coming out of this dark night of the soul, and you might run smack dab into an empress. Take it as it resonates, though, okay? If that's the case, guys, she's doing her own thing over here for sure evolving and blooming okay for sure and my masculine energies you might feel like you're not good enough for this empress okay or my empresses out there there's a masculine energy that feels like they are not good enough for whatever reason they're overthinking the shit out of everything this person might feel like they're just in king of wands energy they're not in emperor energy but they really want to get there like they see the connection with you but they're like shit this is an empress she's deserving of an emperor i'm a king of wands i'm not an emperor right? King of Wands is like out here riding on a horse with no name, not really, you know, sure what the fuck they're doing, <laughs> to be honest with you. Like got a lot of plans, hasn't executed them yet. That's the King of Wands energy attached to this Five of Swords for me personally. It's like somebody who's really overthinking things. And so they kind of stay in that planning mode. They stay in that strategy mode. They don't actually lay any roots down or become that King of Pentacles Emperor solid energy because they're not sure of themselves. They're lacking some kind of confidence and they see this empress here and they're like well this empress deserves you know what the empress deserves guys come on now but this person still feels the connection 
this person might have to walk away from a couple things and this doesn't have to be another person this could just be lifestyle choices um mindsets old habits you know cycles that i feel like they're removing themselves from tell me more about this empress with these roses Okay, if you are this Empress energy, okay, yeah, you attract a lot of uh, negative energy here with the devil. This is not for everybody, but for somebody out there, the good news is that somebody is starting to see the difference in you with a karmic. Maybe somebody wasn't sure, Gemini, they were looking at you and then they're looking at this karmic energy and they're like, mm, I can't really tell the difference. They're able to tell the difference now. They're able to see who the divine feminine is versus who the karmic is. That's not for everybody. This person might have had to, you know, this person might be dumb, Gemini. I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean, but this person might be dumb. They might have to learn things the hard way right? Like there might be this energy of like, no, I need this person to actively fuck me over. And then I will believe that they're a karmic, right? I'm not going to believe it because of what I'm seeing and how they make me feel and all of this. Like, no, I need them to do a real number on me. And then I'll believe they're a karmic. It's just, you know, that's for somebody. Okay. I feel like if you're you're a divine feminine, you're letting go of some toxic energy too. Like there's your emperor, right? So you do have an emperor out there, even if this person's kind of like, I don't know. Not wandering, but maybe with the page of wands, but I'm kind of getting the energy of like, this person's trying to build up their success. They're trying to build up their status right now, okay? So for my empresses, don't be falling for these karmic energies because there's going to be a lot that are buzzing around you. There is. You're going to know who your true emperor is. That's just for somebody, okay? You will know who this person is, but there is going to be a karmic that's going to come in and try that ass, okay? For sure. Um, they're giving me like bees attracted to these flowers here. So I feel like you, you are very attractive right now or your energy is just, it's right for the picking, okay? So keep that in mind uh, that there could be this energy here that's going to try to kind of sweep in and steal you before your emperor has a chance to complete or figure out whatever the fuck they're trying to figure out. I feel like your emperor is trying to build up their statis right now or they're trying to work on their foundation. They're going through it, okay? They're fighting for their life out here on these streets for whoever that is, okay? I feel that very strongly. Uh, but I, I feel like there's something here where it's like, yeah, you know, the devil's like, hey, you need a daddy for that dead, dead baby. No, I don't know. There's something about that for somebody, okay? Anyways, guys, Jesus, this reading's taking a turn. Give me something for the, the, the chakra card, please. Okay? Yeah, you're coming out of this state of lack mentality, guys. You really are starting to balance yourself out for sure, okay? And maybe you had to put yourself out in the cold. Maybe you had to kind of put yourself into a very uncomfortable situation here with that five of pentacles. You know, but that's where you're going to find balance. You know, it's, it's almost like a little bit of an oxymoron type of energy or counterproductive. Like it doesn't feel like you would find balance in the uncomfortable. Like, you know, it doesn't feel like you would find comfort taking yourself out of your comfort zone. But actually, that's exactly what's happening here because your comfort zone wasn't a comfort zone. It was a compliant zone, right? You were just being very like um, pacified to whatever your life was and whatever was happening to you. Now you're really taking the reins and you're taking control of your life and it's scary, right? But there is something here where you're gonna find this balance. You're not gonna feel this uncomfortable, harsh um, energy forever. No, there's, yeah, the sun is coming, guys. It's gonna come after a time of a lot of mental turmoil though, okay? You're gonna be really going through it or overthinking things a lot. Give me something for this, uh, this combo down here. What is this talking about for Gemini? High Priestess, guys. You know, Spirit doesn't like to let everything be known. You know, you know what that means for me when the High Priestess comes out. It's like, stop pulling or this is, you know, you can only know the very basic details. Very basic details. You're going to be offered something where you're going to feel really good. You might even be getting some kind of recognition. Some of you guys, there could be somebody coming in, mystery type of person too, with it being in the black and white silhouette. Um, and I don't feel like for whatever reason, Spirit really wants to divulge too much. I know. Womp, 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 right? But you can't expect it, though, is the energy I'm getting. Like, you can expect uh, to be being offered something. 
We have the Queen of Swords here. I feel like Spirit doesn't want to divulge too much because somebody is trying to ruin something, Gemini. I don't know if they're watching my channel. That would be the only reason that, that cause uh, I don't. I would feel like this is a safe space, but if there is somebody that's checking for like Gemini blessings or something like that, then yeah, that might be why Spirit's like, eh, I don't really want to talk about it because this person is trying to gain some kind of knowledge or information to try to fuck something up. So somebody could definitely be actively trying to find out like what kind of business deals you're being involved in, what kind of opportunities are coming your way, what kind of relationship, have you found somebody, are you going to find somebody, right? Um, they're trying to spy. This person could definitely, if they do have psychic abilities or something like that, they could be a, um, using their gifts to try to figure that out, guys. Okay, we have Virgo, uh, Pisces energy, and we have Scorpio energy. We have Libra, Taurus, we have Capricorn out here. Okay, take it as it resonates. But I do feel like there's something here where somebody might be wanting to fuck something up or they will try to fuck something up. And maybe that's why Spirit's saying whatever blessings these are, they need to be kept secret or they need to be kept on the low for a little bit until they can kind of root in and grow, you know? It's like you don't want to put a brand new seedling plant into a harsh environment. You know, you want to put an established plant into a harsh environment because they're going to be able to handle it. A little brand new plant is not going to be able to handle all that. So it's like maybe you need to take time to let something grow before you just introduce it to the world. That's the kind of, or your family or whatever. Yeah, before you expose it, it needs to be strong. Because there's somebody here that wants to fuck something up for you, for sure. We have the tower that came back out, guys. Come on now. Could be a, a Scorpio. This could be somebody from your past that sees that you're moving on to something new or will see that you're moving on to something new and they don't like that. Oh, God. Who cares? I'm like, who cares? But spirits like Jessica, they need to know. Okay? <laughs> you know the spirit's like they need to know they need to know that this person's gonna try to fuck up things they need to know to keep quiet they need to know that these good things this good connection is coming in but uh somebody is waiting in the wings to almost fuck it up yeah you're gonna need to sail away from this energy or move forward or something or i don't know guys that's just what i'm getting i feel like spirit don't want to talk about it guys which i feel like is such a bummer because it's like why put it out here if we can't talk about it that don't make no damn sense. All right, what do we have here? <sighs> Y'all have to let me know if this reading resonates or not. We have the goddess of sacred power. You're being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. We have the angel of prayer. Ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. We have the angel of abundance coming in. It says the steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. And we have the angel of manifestation. Your efforts and determination and perseverance have paid off. Wow. Those two coming out together is awesome because I feel like you are investing in yourself. And because of that, you're seeing the investments come back. Goddess of the unknown, a new chapter in your life is just around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. And one more, we have the goddess of awakening. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. Didn't I say that? Like, you're going to want to explore, wanna go on, gonna want, want to go out and have a good time and enjoy yourself and just live your life, okay? All right, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps, hope it resonates, hope it does something. See you on the next one. Bye!